All right, so today we are doing the uh, long dreaded process of cleaning your vehicle. So the Raptor is dirty, definitely needed some cleaning. So we are at our local T&M car wash. And um, believe it or not, this is my, this is my third time here today. It's the first time my debit card wasn't in my wallet. Uh, second time, the SD card wasn't in the GoPro. So I turned a 12 minute round trip drive into a 36 minute round trip drive but the good news is the GoPro was at 6% and now it's at like 52 so gotta find the good and the bad I suppose and so the reason we are at a self-serve car wash is because I was so bored last night I decided to go through the uh, user manual of the Raptor it was about ex it was about as exciting as I thought it would be so you're not allowed or you're not supposed to wash this Raptor through an automatic car wash because it's too wide and uh, you should also avoid using a high pressure washer along the stickers in the back so we'll see how that holds up today Get these floor mats out. They need walk. We already got the passenger side out. A little swipey swipe action here. Verifying car. And we're off. So that wasn't so bad, but I'm gonna take a chamois cloth, 
and wipe it all down, get all the water off so there's no water spots on it. Just like that, we're home. Big girl's cleaned, washed up, looking good. The wife's is probably next. So some do's and don'ts of washing your Ford Raptor. Don't take it through an automatic car wash. Too wide. And I would never take a vehicle through an automatic car wash anyways because that was like my first job and I seen a bunch of vehicles. Just like wheels get scraped up, mirrors busted, little scratches and stuff like that. And you wouldn't even get completely washed right. It would be like spots missed. And there would be a little fine print somewhere when you first pull up, not responsible for damages. So we'd have people come back and be like, this broke because of your machine. Well, it says right there. So if anybody ever came through with a nice or special vehicle, I would tell them not to do it and go through the self-serve car wash. Some other don'ts. Don't high pressure wash your sticker because it will come off. I did it anyways today because I don't want a dirty sticker and it didn't come off, so. I'm gonna vacuum out the inside and get the inside cleaned up and then go from there. All right, so we are done. We got her all cleaned up. She's looking good, looking sharp. Interior's cleaned up, looking new and shiny. And it was bad, guys. <laughs> I should have done it before and after, but I haven't cleaned it since I moved. About seven hours across the state and <clears throat> just getting everything piled in here and just trying to get moved. It's pretty dirty, so it definitely was in need, but with winter and the snow here, it, it was just kind of pointless to clean it because it was just getting dirty every day but today was like a really nice day so i figured we'll go get her shined up today all right so i came out here it's kind of like this place behind my house over here it's like new development and it's great for taking pictures and stuff so i figured i'd come and get some shots up here
think I've done some revs with this thing since the uh, since the intake or since the uh, downpipes. We'll try to get some. It sounded good out here as good as it did from inside the cab so to achieve that sound which yeah there's controversy on how it v6 sounds but it's not bad we got an afv momentum gt intake ams turbo down pipes we also did um SDP uh, down pipes, sorry, the AMS or the turbo inlet pipes and the uh, SDP or the down pipes and then the AFE exhaust, which is the, uh, it's the zero. So it's just got two resonators right there and straight piped all the way back. So it's, it's pretty aggressive or stock but I, I still think it's reasonable. So yeah, if you guys like the sound, let me know if there's... All right guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.